Elena Zorowski. I'll be reading for Sika Poems for Peace on Thursday, April 21st at 11 a.m. Hi, everyone. This is David Deffy. Glory to Ukraine. I'm a Georgian American and I'm deeply honored to be here. And I'm going to read my works for Sika. Um, I'll be reading some poems uh, given what's going on in Europe in the war with uh, in Ukraine. Um, I've noticed when my last poetry collection came out that as a Polish American, um, I always have Russians lurking in the back of my poems. That's not even conscious thing. And when my last book came out, I, uh, it was something that struck me. I'm going to read from my <clears throat> newest book. It's called Eastern Star. This book has been released in 2020 by Adelaide Books, New York. And also I'm going to read my newest works. <clears throat> I'm working on it now. My, my grandfather just passed away at, at 98. And um, my grandfather was the one that was his parents. His father was murdered by Russians and he never wanted to stay in Poland. So he did everything and they got out in the 60s and he came with my father and my father's sister. So they came as the, the core, the nuclear family unit. Uh, and my mother came later to marry my father. My father and mother grew up together. But um, so I've been gearing up to write this. I have all these photographs from him. And, um, you know, these stories are always in my head. And it's just, I'm like, is anyone going to care that I want to write this book in Poland about Polish family and then Putin invades Ukraine and I'm like oh this is still this is still the story our own journey because now we are one family whole planet because very deadly scene is happening right now and it should be and it must be stopped absolutely there is no doubt of it children are dying in very sadistic way so there is no way to continue life as it was before. The world has been changed and will be changed. Unfortunately, the price of it was too high, but we, we are human beings and we should prevail and we will do this. I'm pretty sure that's why the Sika exists. That's why we try to <clears throat> say something and do something for better, for better our life. So for better place to make the world, this idiotic world, make a better place, may find some sense, sense of understanding to be more brave, more open with each other and for each other and to each other and for ourselves in God's eyes. Um, and so to give you a little teaser of the kinds of uh, work I'll be reading, I want to share today a poem called My Life in Politics. Incapable of limiting themselves to petty offenses, my hands broke into my chest and choked every slumbering deity. After that, I no longer cared to argue about the nature of the flesh, whether powered by vitalist or mechanical forces, the spirits had in either case evaporated as easily as life from the nostrils of a drowned man. Oddly, I did begin to care about numbers, but only in exchangeable forms. Bread, I heard a man say once, and it made me a depressive materialist, not unlike a Franciscan without a dove. I collected frozen peas, greeting each one like a lost friend then dispersing them in green streams to the hungry mouths in the surrounding counties. At home, I have an old painting to comfort me, a fine example of a impressionism from the Eastern Bloc circa 1981. In the subtle oranges singeing the trees, one sees the foreshadowing of martial law. As a child, I sat in my Western living room and watched the Molotov cocktails fly behind the iron drape. Back then, no one thought to explain to me how walls against the flight of capital might end in flames, how on TV I was witnessing soldiers clip the wings of the very same paper birds that here flew all around me.
But, you know, I mean, I always think about um, the guy in Poland who's painting these things where he's got all of these um, Polish Americans coming and buying his stuff. You know, it's like a good. Oh, he's got to build like he's, he's like, you know, it's 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 he's adapting his his talent to a kind of Polish American bourgeois sensibility. <laughs> now I'd like to read a little part of my poem, it's called Empty Strollers in Front of You. See the empty strollers over there in front of you? Now you see what Russians are. Don't say a word. Take a deep breath. Now you know what has happened. Why, how, where, and when. Right here. Not so far. Not so far. Just a second ago, they were alive, my sweetest friend. They were loved. The peace offering love. Earth and heavens made sacrifices to that love. The dues of their smiles are the words of holly. Who ever heard and felt anything more divine? Is there something precious we are looking to find out there? Their voices hit your senses, burst your temples, burn your breath. See the race or the black smoke and the flayed stillness? This is the other side of our happiness. And its silence means the end. Um, well, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to doing this reading and I hope to see you all there. So I think poetry is the reason of our existence here, is the reason of language, is the reason of our lives and heartbeats through the poetry for me and for you, of course. So I'm inviting you on April 21st at 2 Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Seek a poem for peace, for victory, for love. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to heroes.